What's going on everybody? David here back with another video. So today we're going to do a stimulus package, stimulus check update, and we're going to talk about a couple of different things today. Of course, we're going to talk about the direct payments. We need to dive in more and talk a little bit more about that and uh, look at some of these different politicians. And of course, I'm going to give you my thoughts on this whole thing when it comes to direct payments. I think it's been a disaster uh, as of this point, and we, we, we need to continue to talk about this because politicians will forget. They've already forgotten, but if we don't remind them, then they're going to continue to go down that road and say, oh, yeah, you know, no stimulus. We don't need stimulus checks anymore. We're, we're, we want it. we're in the relief stage. We're not in the stimulus stage, uh, as one politician said yesterday. Uh, so we're, And we're also going to talk about the, the omnibus bill. So what are they going to do? December 11th is a deadline. What are they going to do with that? So that's what we're going to talk about today. But first off, you guys can do me a favor. Please hit the like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell notification. That way you'll get notified anytime we put out a video. Okay, first thing we're going to talk about today is the omnibus bill. So we had that deadline, December 11th. Well, it looks like, and this is sources that are saying this, they have not come out officially and said this yet, but it looks like they're going to do a continued resolution. So uh, Congress will do a continued resolution until next week. So December 18th, so they've extended it one week, which will give them a little bit more time to kind of get together these different proposals. The $908 billion proposal, we still have not seen the language for that yet, and that's very important that we see the language. Uh, so we'll know where to go with this. Uh, we don't even know if the president supports it at this point. There's, there's no language to it, so all we know are the little bullet points of the different things that they want to have in it. Uh, we know that direct payments are not one of those things, and, and that's one of the big problems that I have. Uh, but we it'll be extended one week. So we have another week to kind of see what's going to happen. Hopefully, we'll have the language by tomorrow or Wednesday, and then they can move forward from that point so they'll at least know what's in this $908 billion proposal. We still don't know the language for Mitch McConnell's proposal, uh, but it, it's it, this has just been a mess. And I will show you guys a clip in, in a minute, uh, but I, I do want to talk just a little bit about the, the failure. I mean, I, I, I cannot understand how politicians just think that this is okay. And, you know, I, I will have to say that Nancy Pelosi has been doing most of the negotiating when it comes to this, this whole process. And this is a huge failure on her part. I mean, she was for stimulus checks. And it looks like now with this $908 billion proposal, it doesn't have stimulus checks in it. And she's coming to say, yeah, I'm on board. It looks like a good framework. Well, is it a framework? Are you adding to this framework now? Or are you just going to have this as a framework and then a couple of months down the road try to work on a, on the stimulus check for the American people? Uh, I, I don't know. And that needs to be, she needs to bring, to talk about that. I don't think we should be waiting a couple months later. I think we should be handling the situation now and getting something. You know, I was I was on board when she wanted to do the big package I was on board for that. Now, I understand you have some senators, Republican senators, that do not want a big package, so they wanted something smaller. I get that. But you still need to push for a for larger bill that, had, that, that takes care of the American people. This is not going to take care of all American people. Uh, and I know it's impossible to take care of everyone, but there's certain things that need to be in this proposal, and direct payments is one of them. And that's why it's been in every proposal up until now. The only proposal that we have not seen uh, direct payments is a skinny bill. The skinny bill and then this proposal right now. And then, of course, Mitch McConnell's new proposal. Those are the only proposals that we have not seen stimulus checks in. The House approved a bill with stimulus checks in it twice. Twice they did. And now all of a sudden we're looking at a situation where it just might not happen. It might not happen. So let, I'm going to go ahead and play this clip, and then we'll talk about it on the other end. So this is a political senior writer. Here we go. Political senior writer and co-author of Playbook, Jake Sherman. Jake, he, Jake is also an MSNBC political uh, contributor. Jake, good to have you with us uh, today. The biggest sticking point, as I understand it, for the relief bill at this moment appears to be liability shields and direct payments. Walk us through where the two parties are on these issues. So, Eamon, the two parties are stuck on the same the same group of issues that they've been stuck on since June. Uh, the liability overhaul, the liability shield, uh, direct payments. So these. OK, so they politicians have not been hung up on direct payments. 
They've all agreed for direct payments. The amount might have been, you know, at issues, but it was twelve hundred dollars we knew for individual. But the dependents, that's where it was a little different. Twelve hundred. Uh, the the Democrats wanted twelve hundred per dependent, any age, and the Republicans wanted five hundred per dependent. Uh, so there there has been no hang up when it comes to the direct payments when it came to direct payments. But now it's a little bit different. All right, let's get and continue checks that go directly to Americans in this in this horrible economic climate and also state and local money, which Republicans have not been eager to give on. Democrats have been pushing for. So they're stuck in the same place. Now, you could look at this two different ways. The upside is they just gave themselves another week to talk. The downside is they just gave themselves another week to talk. And the issues, the outstanding issues here are still the same. But I will say the same. And the, the biggest thing that we're seeing is the body language among Republicans and Democrats is positive toward a deal. Steny Hoyer, the House Majority Leader, just said they should not leave for Christmas without a deal. It's not an option to leave town without having some sort of an agreement. That is aggressive language here as if we're sitting on December 7th. So I, I would just, I'm a little bit more hopeful than I have been in the past. But again, these big issues that have been tying up these veteran negotiators for months are still tying them up. Jake, let me just ask you if you can explain to our viewers, I mean, what's the argument being made against giving people direct payments? Because I think anyone who's watching this at home would say that seems like a no brainer. Funding is going to cut off. People are laid off. People don't have access to income because their businesses are being shut down. What is the argument that those who and I don't know who it is, but who is making the argument that we don't want direct payments to Americans? And what's the reason for it? Well, I'll, I'll just preface it by saying this is not my argument. This of course, is the argument right. Yep. Of those who are opposed. Um, I think we're, there are some Republicans who believe the economy is slowly improving and uh, we're going to the vaccine is on the horizon. Again, not my argument, but Republicans say that the vaccines on our, the horizon, the economic climate is improving. Obviously, that's not true. Right. I mean, we're about right. to hit the worst part of this virus so far. Uh, and it's also a big check. I think it's three hundred billion dollars to get that done. But again, that's in the grand scheme of things. That's not a lot of a lot of money with the economic climate that we have and the White House has been skeptical on this. There's two different sides of the coin. There's the Mark Meadows side of the coin, which and he's been a little bit of, uh, uh, less eager to go big on a package. Steven Mnuchin has been more eager to go big on a package. And we don't know where Donald Trump stands because his opinion changes every time he speaks about this. So I would say this, the fact that direct payments are being talked about this late in the game is a hopeful sign. I would say the bigger issue is this liability shield and state and local spending. The two issues that, again, have been have been uh, confusing and, and confounding these lawmakers for some time. Yeah, I was going to say, just as an outside observer, it seems somewhat strange as we see more and more state, states issue lockdown orders, the numbers continuing to increase for anyone to make an argument uh, that direct payment should not be sent to Americans is, is just bizarre. And on top of that, trying to protect companies and businesses uh, from, uh, from, you know, liability, I guess. Jake Sherman, as always, thank you. All right. So that was Jake Sherman, uh, senior writer from Politico. And I, I just do not know what to say. Now, I didn't see any any politicians talking about this today, so that's why I didn't have a po actual politician on talking about it. But it, this is it's it's amazing. This is just amazing to me that direct payments. It's like you're moving. You move a couple of steps forward and then a couple steps back. It, it doesn't make any sense. Or like two steps forward, three steps back because stimulus checks were a part of of every proposal. And now we're looking at a situation where they're trying to fight to get it back in there, or at least the, there are some politicians that are coming out saying, yes, we need to have stimulus uh, checks in there when this was automatic before. So you, you really need to watch these politicians because I'm telling you, when it comes down to it, this is one of those things. They will forget about it if you let them. They will definitely forget about it if you let them. And you see this sense of urgency, these politicians coming out saying, oh, we need to have something now. We need to have something now. Well, where were they six months ago, five months ago? It would have been the perfect time then, but nothing. So I mean, it, it, it's just it's so amazing to me. And, you know, I, I hate bringing the bad news to you guys every every day. Uh, I will, anytime something good com comes up, I will let you guys know. But when it comes down to it, these politicians are really trying to just not do anything. And you heard the senior writer just talking about uh, how he thinks that some politicians want to just run the clock out. 
basically we have a vaccine uh, that will be coming shortly. The economy is starting to get uh, get better. So maybe we don't have to do stimulus checks. Maybe we can do this small little package and not have to, to do anything in the future. But some of these same politicians are telling you, and, and I had one on yesterday. If you want to check it out, I'll post a link up here saying that, oh yeah, you know what? This is, this is a, this is, we're in the relief stage and then we'll have, we can do stimulus later. Well, some politicians don't plan to do any stimulus at all. They think it's not needed. All we need is to, to work on these few little issues. The enhanced unemployment will work on that. The PPP will work on that. But then after that, a lot of this other stuff is not ever going to happen because their anticipation is that things are going to get better with the vaccine. And so we don't need to go further. And that's why I think some of these politicians are really eager to get something done now because they know we can get a little something done, done now and promise that we're going to do something in the future, but just never do it. And so that, that, that's, it's unfortunate, but that's kind of what we're looking at. That's all I have for you guys today, but I want to know what you guys think about this. So let me know down in the comment section below. And I also have the comment of the week. So we're going to start doing this. I think this is good. Uh, we'll do a comment of the week. So Athena says it needs to be called disaster relief because this is exactly what it is. So that is our comment of the week. Thank you guys all for participating in the comment section. I really, really appreciate that. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.